Yeah, and question for you. So, so you were building your, you know, your three labels, um, and obviously, I assume that you were having some success with that, and you were able to, you know, to pay for everything. But did that then? Was it that during and be, being so so exposed to to fashion? Did that actually fuel an addiction that you had already about for buying clothes? Like, can you tell me more about this addiction? Um, and how is it? How is it that you? went in debt while you had a successful business and how was it where was it that you kind of you you started buying more clothes than you can afford uh, i thought i would assume that you'd be you would have loads of clothes you know from your labels and why were they not enough and what was it that made you to have to keep getting new ones oh great question so it all started it all pretty much stems from being so insecure with myself and the one of the things that I found with fashion in the beginning and just um, being in that quote unquote community um, was because whenever I would wear something different or wild or cause I would, and I was always changing my hair, color, size, just every, everything. I was changing something about, I always had to have a new outfit. That is how I found quote unquote, love and validation, which I actually call pseudo validation and pseudo love because it was always fake because it wasn't coming from myself. So I was always searching on the exterior. So that came this place where I could go get my hit of dopamine because every time I'd wear something new or I'd buy something, I would get that reaction. And then on the other side, as I kept getting this, this fill of dopamine, then I started seeing, you know, every time I would go to the stores, I would get this, like this adrenaline rush, and it would just be this, um, it's like this roller coaster ride. I would just get this really big high and go shift through all the clothing racks, and I would make it this game. But when I, once I got to the end and I tried on the clothes, and I was like, okay, I'm going to get these 10 pieces, then I would think, oh, shoot, um, I hope my credit card doesn't decline. And then I would mm -hmm. always like cross my fingers and it was like this sick sabotage game, like this sick game I play. I was like, God, I hope it doesn't, I hope it doesn't decline. And then once it went through, I'm like, oh shoot. Okay, good. All right. Well, I can pay that off later. So yeah. that, that started at a young age. I actually started at probably 16 at my first job because I was like, Ooh, I can get, I have my credit card, the first credit card to build my credit, even though I'm just, let me keep, piling it on. Then as I built my business, now that I'm in the business, I kept comparing myself, right? I wanted to be this, actually what's funny, I wanted to be like the design director of LVMH, like Mark Jacobs, Philip Lim, um, and be this huge star. So I knew that when I wore my pieces, either designer pieces or the pieces that I would create, I would get that attention. And then I started to see I got this, it, the, I kept getting this attention because I was craving again, the validation, the love and also fame. So mm -hmm. it, it just, I kept chasing after it. And even though I was, I guess you could say at that point, I did have some success with my line and I had celebrity clientele. And I also, I ended up getting an investor, but when you keep doing things the wrong way and not for the right reasons, it's gonna crash because it was about, Three days before I got my phone call, my investor stopped and mm -hmm. I lost him, had less him. And that three days after, that's when I got the phone call from my brother. I was like, dang, that's a huge wake up call. Mm -hmm. So it was just this, it was this crave for constant pseudo validation. Mm -hmm. And so do you think that your addiction made you or like, tricked you or, you know, whether it tricked you or not? I mean, that's really subjective, but. Do you think it made you feel like you're a better person? Yes, because something yeah. that I share, yes, yeah, something that I, or I should say, quote unquote, even though I was feeling so, I didn't, I, I didn't like myself at all. I hated how I look. So yes, it always made me feel better on the outside because like mm -hmm. my goal was, and actually this is something I share in my documentary. I wanted to make women jealous mm -hmm. and have them like and crave my style and also okay. want to buy my pieces. I know, is that funny? And then also mm -hmm. for men to want me all the time. Mm 